Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today we are going to see an in-depth review of Resurrection Remix ROM for Nexus 5. Now it is based on CM but it also has the features of Slim ROM and Omni ROM. So I have tested this ROM with 5 custom kernel. So in this review, I am going to show you the performance and battery stats of this ROM with stock kernel and 5 custom kernel. So let's go ahead and check out the installation process of this ROM. Now for installation, you have to go to this XDA thread. I will post the link for this thread in my description. Here you will get the ROM file and the gapps file. Just flash this file in the recovery and you are good to go. Now for detailed installation guide, you can check out my blog. I will post the link for my blog in my description. Now we will check out benchmark score for Resurrection Remix ROM. So here is the benchmark score for stock kernel. And these are the benchmark score for 5 custom kernel. So as you can see, Uber L kernel has highest benchmark score as compared to other 4 kernels. Now we will check out battery stats for Resurrection Remix ROM. So I will show you the battery stats of stock kernel and file custom kernel. Now all the battery stats are taken after minimum 4 charge cycle. And these are my settings and usage scenario while testing the battery. So here are the battery stats for stock kernel. And here are the battery stats for 5 custom kernel. Now all the kernel work perfectly with this ROM. There is no issue with any kernel. All the kernels are used on a stock settings. There are no tweaks applied to any kernel. So as you can see, the Uber L kernel has highest QAnon time of 3 hours and 51 minutes as compared to other 4 kernels. In my opinion, the top 3 kernel for this ROM are Uber L kernel, Elemental X kernel and the stock kernel that come along with this ROM. Now we will check out different customization option available on Resurrection Remix ROM. So as you can see, there is a separate tab for customization in settings menu. So here the first option is status bar. Here you can enable the brightness control over status bar. Then you can enable the count for a notification. Then you can enable the task manager in status bar area. Then you can enable the RR logo in status bar. Then you can customize the settings for quick pull down and smart pull down. Then you can enable the greetings when you unlock your phone. Then there is the option to customize the styles of clock, date and battery status. Then there is the option to enable battery bar and customize different settings for battery bar. And similarly there is the option to enable network traffic monitor and customize different settings for network traffic monitor. Then next option is miscellaneous. Here you can enable the wavelock blocker and block any wavelock as per your choice. Then there is an option to customize the AC Linux mode so you can change it to enforcing or permissive. Then you can customize different system animations and toast animations from this option. Then there is an option to enable the Pi control and customize different settings for Pi control. Then you can enable the gesture anywhere feature and apply a custom gesture to any app or process as per your choice. Then there is an option to enable the app sidebar or app circle bar. So you can enable both of them or one of them as per your choice. Then there are some options to customize the results panel such as enable the clear all button, then enable the RAM bar and customize the position for the clear all button. Then there is the option of slim recent task panel. So you can enable the conventional lollipop recent panel or you can choose for slim recent task panel. So I am using the same recents, so it will appear like this. You can customize different option of slim recents in this menu. Now slim recents also provide the floating mode. 
so it will appear like this then next option is lock screen here you can customize the shortcuts on lock screen then you can enable or disable the weather then you can customize the bottom shortcuts then there is an option to enable or disable the double tap to sleep feature on lock screen the next option is notification drawer so you can enable or disable the weather in fixed setting panel you can customize the toggles color in the custom color option then you can customize the order of a tile and you can also add or delete any tile as per your choice then there is an option to customize the slim action toggle and there are some other option to customize the fixed setting panel then next option is buttons so here you can enable or disable the navigation bar button then you can enable the left handed mode then you can customize the navigation bar dimension you can also apply different color for navigation bar then there is an option to customize the buttons layout in navigation bar then you can enable or disable the navigation ring and you can also customize the navigation ring targets then there is an option to enable double tap to sleep feature on navigation bar now the new feature on this rom is slim dim so what it actually does so as you can see it will automatically dim the navigation bar after some time you can customize the timeout for the dimming as per your choice then there is an option to customize the power menu and you can apply different actions for volume button from this option also some of the customization option can be found under display settings So as you can see there is the option of expanded desktop ambient display and double tap to sleep feature on status bar So as this rom is based on CM it has CM theme engine inbuilt so you can apply any CM12 or CM12.1 theme on this rom So it's time for final verdict So as the name suggest The Selection Remix ROM has the best combination of customization from Slim, CM and Omni ROM. Also in terms of performance, the ROM is smooth and fluid. In gaming and multitasking performance, the ROM is pretty good. There is no lag or any issue with the ROM. Also in terms of battery performance, the ROM is excellent. So if you want to have a great customization, good performance and excellent battery life, then you must give a try to resurrection remix rom so if you have any suggestions please let me know in a comment section below and if you like this video please hit like button below and share this video you can follow me on my blog and google plus account for regular updates i will post the link for my blog and google plus account in the description below and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.